JP and Lisa Casino are just beginning to plan their family, and they're already doing everything they can to make sure that when the time comes, their baby gets the healthiest start possible. This includes making sure their own immunizations are up to date. People who want to start a family want to be in the best possible health that they can be before they have a child. Thinking about their immunization is one of those things. Some of the immunizations they had as children are no longer protecting them against serious illnesses and whooping cough is one of those. If a parent gets whooping cough, they can pass it on to their infant before the infant has been fully immunized at six months. And whooping cough in infants can cause brain damage or even death in rare cases. There's a myth that whooping cough is just a childhood disease. In fact, half of all cases of whooping cough reported in Canada each year occur in adolescents and adults, and many may not realize that they could pass the disease on to vulnerable infants. Whooping cough is a vaccine preventable illness. The best way to protect our infants is to protect the adults who take care of our infants because that's the most likely way of transmitting it. So whether it be the parents who take care of the infant, the child care workers, grandparents, or even the teens who live in the house. Adults should receive a tetanus and diphtheria booster every 10 years by substituting one of those boosters with Adacel, a vaccine that protects against tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, adults will be fully protected. When we first told our doctor that we were interested in starting a family, she suggested that we both get vaccinated for whooping cough. And uh, we'd like to start our family as healthy as possible. Another patient, Lisa Snyder, found out firsthand the importance of getting a whooping cough booster. I developed a uh, whooping cough about uh, two years ago, um, and I had no idea that adults could get whooping cough. It was, I suffered for about uh, three months, and it was excruciating pain, tightness in the chest. It was absolutely awful. Um, when I was all better, I went to my doctor, and I got a booster shot, so I would never have to undergo the pain that I, that I felt from whooping cough again. If you're not sure whether your vaccinations are up to date, speak with your doctor. Your physician can also recommend whether Adacel is right for you. Martin Vanderwood reporting.